I'm Jewish. Okay. Which I'm month is Jewish History Month? Uh, there isn't one. Oh. I want to show you one more of Morgan Freeman. This is from a couple uh, years back. He was on 60 Minutes uh, being asked about Black History Month. Again, his previous answer was, we should stop talking about this stuff. Check this out. Black History Month you find ridiculous. Why? You're going to relegate my history to a month? Oh, come well, on. What do you do with yours? What, which month is White History Month? <laughs> no, well, no, no, come on. Tell me. Well, the... I'm Jewish. Okay. Which I'm month is Jewish History Month? Uh, there isn't one. Oh. Oh. Why not? Yeah. Do you want one? No, no. No. I, 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 I don't either. I don't want a Black History Month. Black history is American history. How are we going to get rid of racism? On stop shows? talking about it. I'm going to stop calling you a white man. And I'm going to ask you to stop calling me a black man. I know you as Mike Wallace. You know me as Morgan Freeman. You want to say, well, I, I know this white guy named Mike Wallace. You know what I'm saying? You know, I always say this thing about the thin veneer that the woke have, right? There's this thin veneer of some of this makes sense, or even the left in general. There's a thin veneer that their economics make sense, right? Raise taxes, have more services, but it doesn't really work that way. There's this thin veneer of tolerance, and when you peel that off, there's a really, like, nasty person there. Like, look how simply, and I would say almost unintentionally, Morgan Freeman just exposed Mike Wallace. I don't think Mike Wallace, was a per he was actually a pretty decent journalist and, and a decent guy. But like when Morgan Freeman turns it on him, would you want a Jewish history? No, 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 what are you talking about? And of course you wouldn't, right? Of course you wouldn't, there would be no need for it. By the way, the black and Jewish connection as it relates to civil rights are deeply connected because all of the places that we think of as ultimately discriminating against black people, country clubs, et cetera, they originally were discriminating also against Jews. Jews made their way in and then black people made their way in. Like that's, that's how these things were connected. Most of the white people, that Martin Luther King Jr. was marching with all those years during the civil rights movement happened to be Jews. But putting all of that aside, the, the, the thin veneer thing, that's why, that's why it's so interesting how few lefties will truly debate. They'll just tell you you're racist and then not debate ideas anymore because Mike Wallace's response was, well, how, how are we gonna stop racism if you don't have a black history month? I mean, it doesn't even make any sense. Oh, is there more or less racism? What does it have to do with anything? Like, stop, it's the same thing. Stop focusing on this nonsense. Focus on what matters. Do I, should I vote for this person regardless of the color of my skin because the policies they have might make my life better? Um, should I want that person to be the Supreme Court justice because they under, have an understanding of the Constitution and they will make judgments that are, are congruent with our laws? Or do I just want all of the judges in New York to be black women, right? There's five judges now in the New York Supreme Court and they're all black women. It's statistically impossible. And do you think you've created diversity or anything else or just a bunch of people who think the same thing and look the same way? So they've done everything backwards.